The past few days have been packed to the brim with news and information coming out of Walt Disney World. And I thought we were done when we covered Lightning Lane Premier Pass, but as it turns out, we had only just begun. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel and welcome to Celebration. Today, I'm just, I'm chilling, okay? I wanted to go to the parks, but I just can't. I need a break, I need a breath, I need a coffee, and that's where we're headed now. So, uh, join me for a stroll. We're gonna grab a coffee, find a place to sit, and talk about the newest piece of information that, quite frankly, I learned about yesterday, but I, I needed to take a breath before I shared my thoughts with you on that one. And that is a new option for Disney Vacation Club members to, well, I don't really know how else to say it, pay for perks. But like I said, first things first, coffee. We're opting for Starbucks again today. Also, we're here in celebration because this is the closest place to me where I can wander around that isn't a theme park. Also, while I'm thinking about it, the other day, I had someone ask me if I thought that Joffrey's, which I said has been letting me down, is better than Duncan. Because I'm from New England, from Massachusetts, to be more specific. And as some of you may know, Duncan just flows through our veins up there. So um, I know that people are like, well, just appreciate this music for a second. What's going on? Is this like an Oktoberfest thing? Maybe. Anyway, so um, you wanted to know whether I think Joffrey's or Duncan is better. Uh, based on my recent experiences, Duncan much better than Joffrey's. I know that it has its moments, you know what I mean? But Joffrey's, when Joffrey's hasn't delivered, it's been like super watered down and gross. You know, like if you were to put creamer in water, and you're like, it's coffee. Duncan, it might not have enough cream. It might not have enough sugar. You can fix that. There's no fix in my experiences that I've had with Joffrey's recently. And you know, to be fair, that coffee that we did get, what was it, the peanut butter and jelly latte? That was good. It just wasn't, it wasn't special. Didn't really taste like anything. And I've never had that experience at Duncan. So now you know. Also, I gotta be honest with you, Starbucks, really isn't my thing, but it's the closest coffee. That and McDonald's, neither of which are particularly close or convenient for me. So I usually just make my coffee at home. But when I'm out and about and wanna grab a cup of something on the go, it's more often than not gonna be Starbucks or Mickey D's. Starbucks recently has been the place I've been leaning toward, but that's cause I get a gift card, so easy choice. Anyway, the reason we're sitting down and chatting today is because like I said, Disney Vacation Club made an announcement that they are offering this, this new optional benefit. Enhancement is probably a better description for it. It's called Membership Magic Beyond or the Membership Magic Beyond option. And in a nutshell, it's a Disney Vacation Club member's opportunity to spend $99 a year to have some additional perks and benefits. I'm gonna put air quotes around additional there. We'll get more into it here in a second, but first, let's go grab our coffee. All right, we did it got my coffee. It's the same one that I got last time. It's like a uh, apple crisp macchiato. This time I opted for hot because it's like 57 degrees out this morning. This feels so hot though. Like I feel like taking a sip right now is going to be a huge mistake. We're doing it anyway. Mm, so good. Not as good as the ice, but still good. So um, oh, well, first of all, I'm sure you're hearing the yodeling in the background. That's because it's Oktoberfest here in Celebration Town Center. What exactly that means, I'm not entirely sure. There are banners, I'll show you one when we walk past here in a second, but it means music. Anyway, so back to this whole uh, DVC membership benefit thing. Um, I'll be honest with you. At first glance, when I saw this email come through, which was yesterday while we were out and about, I was... How do I say this in a polite way? Not happy. And I have a lot of reasons for that. I'm gonna share some of them with you here in a bit. Uh, but first, we have to talk about what exactly this is. So let's start making our way around this area, maybe find a quiet place to sit down for a bit. This isn't uh, gonna do it for me because there's 
there's uh, construction materials right over here. So I'm sure that it's gonna get noisy real quick. Um, but yeah, so let's start to stroll. We'll get into the details of what exactly this is. And then we'll talk about how I think it's going to ultimately impact Disney Vacation Club members, probably Disney Vacation Club as a whole moving forward. And I'm gonna share some of my thoughts. All right, so like I said, I got this information via email yesterday before it exploded all over the internet. So I just wanna go through that email with you really quick in case you haven't gotten it. Of course, if you are a DVC member, make sure that you're checking in on this. So it says, meet the membership magic beyond option. That's the name of this thing that we're talking about here today. A yearly enhancement benefit package that can give you special ways to elevate your Disney Vacation Club stays throughout the year. Starting December 3rd, purchase for $99 and get ready to experience more at every turn and kick every memory up a notch. It then goes on to say that as a member, your vacation dreams know no bounds. They go up, up, and away. And now discover a new incredible suite of benefits, a new suite of benefits, so more benefits, different benefits, presumably, that will fly you and help you make the most of every magical moment. Unlock enhancement value with a 30-day memory maker enhancement. And it goes on to explain some of the, the things that you're gonna get when you pay this 99 bucks. Which we're gonna talk about here in a second. I do wanna go through all of these with you. But first, let's make our way down the walking trail this direction. There's a little quiet pull-off that I think will be, oh, the cap just came off my coffee. We almost just had a crisis on our hands. Um, I think that it'll be a nice place to, um, you know, pull off, chill for a bit, and really dig into this because there's a lot to dig into. We're almost at that little area that I want to pull off in now. Give you a quick little look around. Beautiful little space. Also, look at all of those birds. I've just been watching them for a few minutes. I'm pretty sure they're vultures. They were getting so close. So cool. So, so cool. But anyway, it occurred to me as I was like making my way to here and watching the birds. And I forgot to show you that banner, that Oktoberfest banner. I'll show you when we make our way back around the loop. Um, but first, let's pull off in here and talk a little bit about what exactly you're getting with this uh, membership benefit enhancement. So there are three things that are listed in this email that are part of this membership magic beyond option. The first includes enhanced value. It says enjoy enhanced value. Um, wow. So there are three things listed here. Purchase specially priced five day weekend Walt Disney World theme park tickets with one water park visit included available for the enrolled member and up to seven family members living in their household more pricing details to come it also says that you can purchase specially priced three-day weekend disneyland resort theme park tickets that include lightning lane multi-pass available for the enrolled member and up to seven family members living in their household Again, more pricing details to come. And it also says receive a 30-day memory maker entitlement to capture and share treasured Walt Disney World memories up to a $210 value if purchased separately. I've got so much to say, so I'm trying to hold back. Um, I just wanna get through everything that is included here. <sighs> It's a struggle today, I'm not gonna lie, because I have so much to say. Next up, it says get exclusive access. This includes meet and mingle with special Disney characters at Disney Vacation Club Imaginatrium, a member lounge at Epcot. The enrolled member must have a resort reservation and be staying on points. The enrolled member can bring up to four guests or the number of guests on their resort reservation, whichever is greater, available seven days a week. Capacity restrictions may apply. You can also take advantage of priority access to Disney Vacation Club's Imaginatrium Imagine Atrium, a member lounge, a Disney Vacation Club Starview Station, a member lounge that's over in Disneyland, and a new member lounge projected to open in 2025 in Magic Kingdom Park. That's where the shooting gallery used to be, over in Frontierland. Use this benefit when lounge access goes on a wait list. The enrolled member can bring up to four guests or the number of guests on their resort stay reservation, whichever is greater, capacity restrictions may apply. So the last category here says experience more flexibility. Always great, right? 
This means using your points to purchase the Disney Sorcerer Pass to enjoy Walt Disney World theme parks. Uh, the Disney Sorcerer Pass is Disney Vacation Club's well, it's not an exclusive annual pass for Disney Vacation Club members. It's basically a Florida resident pass that Disney Vacation Club members can also take advantage of. As you might imagine, I have a lot more to say here. We'll get to it though. Get one bonus one-time use point for each one-time use point purchased. Members can purchase up to 12 points for a total of 24 one-time use points in a use year. It excludes bookings offered through the hotel exchange program. This in a nutshell, because I know some of you might not necessarily be aware of what exactly this means. This is an option that Disney Vacation Club members have. Um, you know, maybe you want to do a stay, like me, for example. I don't have enough points to do whatever stay that I might want to do. Maybe I need, let's say, two or three points. This has actually happened to us in the past. I have the option of calling up Disney Vacation Club and getting these one-time use points. I'm essentially renting points from them. I guess that's the best way to say it. It's pretty reasonable. It's a great option, especially just to round out your stay, you know, and make sure that you can use all of your points. And it looks like they're gonna match that for these people who spring for this option up to 12 points. So, you know what? I'm just gonna say it right now. I think that's pretty all right. And then finally it says, enjoy having your $95 transaction fee waived when booking Disney collection resorts and experiences, including Adventures by Disney, Disney Cruise Line, and National Geographic Expedition experiences. So, you know, more flexibility. Now there are definitely a few different ways that we can look at this. I mean, what else is new? Everyone has their opinions. And I'm sure that there are people out there who are looking at this and going, that's pretty cool, $99 for the year. I can have access to these perks. But here's the thing, I'm not one of those people. And the reason, the reason is because I've been a Disney Vacation Club member long enough to know that this is a sign of changes that honestly are gonna impact all of us so negatively, but like so many other Disney Vacation Club changes over the years, some people, especially new members, they're gonna be none the wiser. They're gonna think this is just so cool and not even realize that they're now paying for something that was baked into the membership that so many of us paid for decades ago. But more about that here in a second. They do have a picnic table back there. It's like just around the corner. So I figure we can make our way over there and sit down while I rant about this for a few minutes. I don't know that my knees can take any more crouching like I was doing back there. I don't know, just felt like the right thing to do at the time. And now I'm like, ooh, it's probably because it's a little bit cold out. Might also be because my knees have been used and abused over the years, but anyway, I'm gonna opt for the, uh, picnic table right over here. <laughs> also, might as well take a look at the water levels here. Water's a little high. Got a few down trees here in the Celebration Town Center area. Of course, as a result of Hurricane Milton. Some locks on this bridge. Huh, interesting. Truthfully, they'll probably be removed pretty quickly. Anyway, almost to the table. Oh, it looks like the path behind the table is closed off. Take a look. Wow, there's a huge hawk back there. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. Oh, unless he flies away, you're not going to be able to see him. He's like right there. So beautiful camouflage. So you can barely see him in the trees. Anyway, there's our table. So let's go take a seat. All right. So now that the nuts and bolts are all out of the way. You have all the information that they presented to us via email. I wanna go over this with you from the perspective of a Disney Vacation Club member, of a long time Disney Vacation Club member, because, you know, like I said, there's some things that especially new members don't realize were perks that have been stripped away over the years. And I think that this is the beginning of it happening yet again. And you know, things are often repackaged by companies. Disney is no exception. They do this too. This is an example of that, um, that make perks that are already perks seem like new perks or seem like perks that are worth paying for when you had them for free. You know, I know that that's a mouthful, but anyway, let's dig in and look at this 
through the eyes of a Disney Vacation Club member, starting with that first category, the enhanced value category. So it lists, for the most part, discounts on tickets, both here at Walt Disney World as well as at Disneyland. I'm not going to focus my attention too much on Disneyland. Again, as I've said in the past, it's not really my wheelhouse. Discounted theme park tickets have always been a perk baked into Disney Vacation Club membership. And it hasn't been until recently that they've backed off on that perk, most notably with the annual passes. Now, I know I'm going to ask you to kind of dig back in your memory for this one, but prior to Disney cutting off sales of annual passes and discontinuing what was their annual pass program, putting this new one in place, Disney Vacation Club members used to be able to get discounts on, for example, annual passes. You get the top tier annual pass, no blackout dates, just at a discount. In fact, that's what we did in 2019. But when they reintroduced annual passes, Disney Vacation Club members no longer had the ability to have a discounted annual pass. I mean, they called it that. It's the Sorcerer Pass. We're going to get more into that here in a bit. But it's not really a discounted pass. You're paying less for an annual pass that gets you less because it does have blockout dates. It does have restrictions. It does not have all the perks that the full annual pass with no block out dates like the top tier pass has. So again, that's that repackaging of a thing, repackaging of a benefit to lead you to believe that it is a benefit, but it actually isn't. So as a Disney Vacation Club member, I am in no way wowed by the ability to pay $99 in order to have access to discounted tickets. That's something that should just be available to Disney Vacation Club members who are eligible for membership benefits because they ultimately purchase direct. But moving on, the last thing listed here is Memory Maker. You get the 30-day Memory Maker. Um, they can do better than this, flat out. There's really no way around it. Memory Maker used to be free with an annual pass. Now we pay $100 a year to be able to have access to Memory Maker, charging members $99 for the year, basically to have access to perks that they already had. I don't, I don't see why they couldn't toss in the whole 12 months. There's really nothing more to say about that. So for the exclusive access, including the meet and mingle with Disney characters at the Imaginatrium, this is actually interesting, okay? Uh, because I'm wondering if they are actually expanding that lounge in the Imagination Pavilion out so that there's more availability of space, you know, and just more availability in general. So that's, that catches my eye, but uh, going back to this topic, because that's really why we're here today, this is another one of those things that we have access to already for free. In fact, there's one coming up. If it hasn't already passed, I don't remember exact dates on that, but um, I've done it in the past. They've had multiple events like this in the past, free to members, but apparently you can pay $99 to have access to this perk you already had uh, just in the new Imaginatrium. Again, with the Imaginatrium, it looks like you're going to be able to have priority access if there's a wait list uh, for this lounge and for other lounges, including the new lounge coming to Magic Kingdom, as I mentioned. This is one of those things that's very frustrating to members because getting into these lounges is already challenging. I've talked to you guys about this before. It's not one of those places where you can just walk up and get in, especially if you're not rope dropping the lounge, you know, if you're not getting there first thing when they open. It's not uncommon for there to be a wait list and to have that wait list be a significant wait. And now giving people who paid for priority access if there is a wait list, quite simply that means that those of us who might have wanted to get into the lounge but didn't want to spring for that $99 benefit paying for access to this thing that we already had access to for free, it's just going to be even harder for us. And that has me wondering, like, how long before this perk for non-paying members fizzles out? Let's move on to the next thing, though. This is about flexibility. Remember, I mentioned that there are some options that are available to you. Of all the other categories that we've talked about thus far, this one makes the most sense to me. I still don't think it's worth the 99 bucks, but I digress. I do like matching the one-time use point purchase. That's pretty cool, though again, I don't think it's worth the $99. Having that $95 transaction fee waived, I mean, it's the least you could do. 
but also I think that this is one of those throwaway benefits that kind of makes it seem like there's more here than there actually is. Speaking of throwaway benefit, the ability to use your points to purchase Disney's Sorcerer Pass, that again is that exclusive Disney Vacation Club and Florida Resident Pass. Um, I mean, sure. I don't know who would opt for that choice, and it depends on how many points you're gonna have to use in order to get that pass. But I mean, there are better ways to use your points. And unless you're a local and you're not planning on using your points for Disney stays, I'm not sure why you would go this route, but I don't know. If you have any thoughts on that, let me know in a comment. Now for me, this mostly looks like repackaging the perks that we already have access to as something that is purchasable, you know, putting it behind a paywall. And by the way, still requiring you to jump through hoops in order to utilize this benefit that you just paid for. I mean, this has been a huge problem, at least in my opinion, with Disney Vacation Club. They're like, yeah, you can do this thing, but you have to be staying at a resort at a very specific time and using your points and, oh, and by the way, paying another $99. That's a lot to ask to have access to a benefit that, quite frankly, you've already paid tens of thousands for, then you're paying, what, at least a thousand bucks a year for 50 years. We've done the math on this. It's like a hundred grand over the course of a contract. It's not cheap already. So to sit there and, to sit there and say that, hey, just so you know, this perk that you had, we're still gonna offer it to you. I mean, I hope you forgot that you had it, but it is still available to you. Just have to pay. It's really spitting in the face of every single Disney Vacation Club member, especially those of us who have been members for such a long time and have seen Disney Vacation Club change so drastically. Quick side note, I was gonna show you the Oktoberfest banners, but they're not hanging up over here. That's too bad. Well. I don't know, stay tuned to social media. Maybe I'll pop in a picture over there so you can see what I'm talking about. Anyway, it's a choice. Um, it's a choice that, honestly, I don't know what Disney's thinking. I try not to lean toward just saying, ah, it's a money grab, because I think that that's kind of lazy. I think that, generally speaking, there's some sort of method to the madness. For example, like with the lightning lane situation they're really just delivering what people have been asking for now that they're delivering it people don't really want it but that's a whole different thing you know with this it's hard for me to feel like it's anything but a money grab but of course i want to know what you guys have to say let me know in a comment down below i've got so many more thoughts on this and i'm honestly this could have been a rant this could have been a big long-winded very frustrated rant if I had sat down and chatted with you about it yesterday, but I aim to try and deliver you information and thoughts in as calm, cool, and collected a way as I can. So I hope I was able to do that today. But like I said, share your thoughts and comment down below. And uh, yeah, see you guys next time. Until then, bye.